sure Truman says I'm sorry, but you don't get to <laughs> Most gracious Heavenly Father, we're here today to ask for your blessings and guidance in the form of our duties as elected officials. We pray for strength, love, knowledge, and understanding. Help us to recognize and solve the problems that are presented. Make our solutions fair and just to the best interests of everyone. Help us to overcome our shortcomings and keep us united as a team to work for the betterment of the city and its people. We pray in your name. Amen. We've got the um, agenda that's presented. Do we have a motion to approve the agenda? Ms. Uh, Murray with a motion. Second. Second by Mr. Tinsley. All in favor, please raise your hand. 7 0. Under presentations and delegations, it's under Understanding that our honoree, Mr. Anthony Fletcher, is a little under the weather. So, Mr. Chris Walker is going to say a few words. We'll look at recognizing him in the future. Good evening. Good evening, sir. <coughs> uh, actually, uh, Miss Rebecca Thompson is here. She's going to oh, speak for Anthony since he works for her. Okay. Thank you. So, Rebecca. Good evening. Hello. Anthony is definitely um, very deserving and the strongest link. He, he helps out. We have plenty of customers that come in on a weekly basis to um, say how much he's helped out in a cemetery. Um, he sees an elderly lady out there. He's, you know, he'll, he'll walk up to her in a heartbeat to make sure that she has everything that she needs. Um, just very, very deserving of the strongest link for July. Thank you. I read your write up. Excellent. <laughs> Appreciate your service. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Yes, sir. Um, next item is to review financial reports for May 2020. Chief Financial Officer Marcus Schwab will address. Good evening, Marcus. Good evening, sir. I'm here, commissioners. Short and sweet. Any questions on any of the financial statements? Very good job. It was great. Thank you. Thank you, for, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Moving into citizens' comments. At this time, the mayor opens the floor for comments from the audience. Comments should be related to a specific agenda item, not listed on the agenda for a public hearing or to a concern within the jurisdiction of the city. Commission meetings serve the purpose of conducting city business and are not a forum for the unlimited expression of opinion. The mayor reserves the right to limit comments to matters germane to city business and may refer speakers to the city manager or other staff for resolution. Do we have any emails sent in or anything? We do not, no sir. Okay, so at this time, Jerry, on my left side, I'd like to come forward. Welcome to the state your name and address director. Dr. Yashonda Jones, 1689, Summerwood Circle. Uh, coming here from what we took away from the last meeting, I want to thank uh, <clears throat> Commissioner uh, Flowers, as well as Commissioner Murray and Commissioner McCord and Commissioner Reed Ward for being willing to work with us to find some solutions to the issues that we're having. I wanted to ask the question, uh, I know that Mayor Holbrook, you were instrumental in getting the Crime Task Force formed in partnership with Archway to deliver some resources for that. So I wanted to ask, would it not be too far-fetched for the city to want to form some type of diversity and inclusion committee um, in partnership with Archway. Um, I think that this is something that is really needed and has been needed for a very long time. I think if we're going to try to focus on crime, then we need to focus on the underlying principles of why things are the way they are. So I'm asking on behalf of the community that we figure out a way to uh, form this partnership for this particular committee going forward. Thank and our you. board is meeting next week for a um, retreat, and we'll be discussing those types of issues in terms of putting the game plan moving forward. Okay. Thank you for your time. Is there anybody else on the left like to come before the board? Anybody on my left? Anybody on my right? Last call? Okay. Thank you. There are no public hearings tonight. Moving into the consent agenda, item, um, we've got items three through 11. 
We did it taking them on. We have a motion to approve. Do you have a question? Okay, Ms. Murray with a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Mr. Brock with a second. All in favor of the consent of Chimney? I have a question. Oh, yes, ma'am. The um, self contained breathing apparatus that we are surplus in, are these the ones that we just kind of replaced with what we bought at the last meeting? Or did something happen? There was an expo, we bought those things, and so this will, we're getting rid of these because we bought those. Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. Okay, that was my question. Any other questions? We have a motion to second. All in favor of approving the consent agenda, please raise your hand. 7 0. Moving into item 12 under the regular agenda, consider accepting of a grant to the U.S. Department of Justice Office of Community Oriented Policing, funding 51%, 375000 of the cost of salary benefits to hire three additional police officers from the Griffin Police Department for a three year funding. Here. So moved. I can watch a second. second. We have a motion for Mr. Tinsley, a second by Mr. McCord. Any discussion? All in favor, please raise your hand. 7 0. Thank you, Chief Gates. Item 13 consider contract with LMIG 2020 milling and paving to Blount the Construction Company, low bidder in the amount of $420,733.25 for the Public Works Department. We have a motion to approve. Murray with a motion. We have Mr. Ward with a second. Any discussion? All in favor, signal by raising your hand. 7 0. Item 14, consider task order form for the design, bid, administration, and construction management for the sludge dewatering facility for Harry Simmons Water Treatment Plant to Paragon Consulting Group in the amount of $198,660. Consider authorization to transfer $198,660 from the capital cost recovery fee, restricted cash account to water operating cash account, and to reimburse CCRF when GFO funds are received for the water and wastewater department. Ms. Ward with a motion for the approval. We have a second. Second. Mr. McCord with a second. Any questions or discussion? All in favor, signal by raising your hand. 7 0. Item 15, consider a task order form for the design, bid, administration, and construction management for sludge dewatering facilities for Potato Creek Water Waste Water Treatment Plant, Shoal Creek Water Waste Water Treatment Plant, and for sludge drying plant at Shoal Creek Water Waste Treatment Plant to Paragon Consulting Group in the amount of $1,124,490. Consider authorization to transfer $1,124,490. From capital cost recovery fee, restricted cash account for the water operating cash account to reimburse CCR up account when GFA funds are received for the water and wastewater department. Ms. Ward has a motion. If I can get a second first. I just had a question. Yeah. When did GFA say it? I'll second. Ms. Flowers with a second discussion. Just, just curious about when the GFA funds come in. When, what time period? Loan goes before the GFA board in November and we'll start receiving funds about three weeks thereafter. It'll be reported. Any other questions? We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please signal or raise your hand. 7 0. Item 16 consider a master service agreement with Breeze and Nicholas e. Professional Engineering Services for the Water and Wastewater Department. We have a motion to approve. Ms. Ward with a motion. Second. Second by Ms. Murray. All in favor, please signal by raising your hand. 7 0. That is our agenda for tonight. Moving into city manager's report. Uh, not a lot on the calendar. We are continuing to uh, be in contact with GMA and the governor's office for the weekly. Through the conference calls or whatever, the GMA and the governor's office the opportunity. Uh, Homer Bryson to keep updated on what's happening throughout the state. Uh, the present governor's executive order ends tomorrow night at midnight, so we are anticipating either an update to that or a new executive order to come out sometime tomorrow. 
and uh, just want to continue to emphasize to our local residents and businesses to take note of what you order and be careful. <coughs> Mr. McCord, uh, once again, just want to thank everyone for coming out, um, participating in our meetings. Um, stay close to your computer, I guess, just to see what's going on as far as um, governor's updates as the uh, city manager has said before. Um, I will let, I, I had a few residents to ask me about our uh, city going to mask in public. So that is my plea tonight that we go to put on your mask if you're going to public places, if you're going to be around people because this coronavirus is not slowing down. Um, I listen to the experts, uh, the scientists, the doctors, and they seem to think that we're still in the first wave. So if it's not a uh, an opinion of the board or policy of the board uh, as a as an elected official, I would encourage everyone to make sure you wear your mask uh, when you're in public and uh, continue to practice social distancing so that we can hopefully bring this thing to an end, especially here in our community. Thank you, Mr. Murray. Thank you again for coming. It is so good to be able to look out and see an audience we have people look at and talk to. So please keep coming back. I appreciate all their efforts. I um, just wanted to say that a few of my citizens have called in to say, or our citizens, that it was um, one of the best firework shows that they've seen in the past from the city of Griffin. So thank you, staff. Thank you, everyone. Which show? It was going on all night, everywhere. It's going on every night. It's like a month. It's going on every night. But anyway, uh, what Robbie said, continue to stay safe. And uh, we definitely encourage public places to wear masks and social distancing very important. Thank you, Jim. Ms. Flowers. Um, wanted to bring to the attention of the board um, an article I read the other day. I'm not sure about the specifics of everything, but it was addressing the fact that shortly here, there will no longer be the additional um, unemployment relief that a lot of people have used to sustain, sustain themselves during this time. Um, and for us to think about the financial impact that that's going to have on the city, um, we've had some discussions in the past about how we would address um, disconnects or late payments. Um, but much in the vein of what Commissioner McCord said, if we anticipate that this will continue going, but we also anticipate that there will not be um, continued financial support at the same level, um, we need to begin thinking about how we will manage that part going forward um, because I think that could have some real ramifications in our community. So just be mindful that as much as some things seem to be normal, there is still a lot of uh, impending doom on the horizon. Thank you. Mr. Brock? No comment, sir. Mr. Tinsley? Nothing bad. Just one. Uh, just for your information, uh, Georgia Met Municipal Association has created an equity and inclusiveness task force, and I've been asked to serve as one of 25 members, so I look forward to being involved with other leaders in the state of Georgia on that. Throughout the last few weeks, I continue to meet with uh, concerned citizens on um, social injustices and race relations, and through this process, I continue to listen, learn, and try to have understanding and appreciate those that have reached out to me over the last weeks and look forward to continuing the dialogue and making significant and um, significant progress towards bettering all lives in this community. With that being said, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Mr. Tinsley with a motion. Mr. Ward with a second. All in favor? Thank you.